Okay, welcome guys to another, uh, the first episode of Constructor HD. Um, you chose uh, this game to uh, uh, do as uh, the third game we uh, you get to choose. Um, now we're, there is uh, one uh, a poll on Twitch. Uh, you can choose between two guys. A life is fugil forest village and a red planet survive um, so um, maybe tonight we're gonna stream um, one of those games or and that's definitely an or because um, I don't know how much time I have tonight I'm gonna stream maybe medieval engineers um, but it's definitely a maybe so uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed at YouTube or Twitch, please do that. Also follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and uh, follow us on our Steam group, Downdie Gaming, and have a look at our website, downdiegaming.nl. Um, yeah, uh, this game I've played as a little boy. Um, it was available on our PlayStation. We uh, played it uh, a couple of times. Um, I was so young, I didn't understand the game. Uh, just because it's in English. Uh, it wasn't back in the days, it was also in English. So um, I didn't understand it. Hopefully, um, now I'm <laughs> a lot older. <laughs> Hopefully I uh, understand now what they mean with the uh, game and how to play it. Um, it's the first time I open it uh, because I bought it on the autumn sale um, of Steam. Uh, so yeah, we should uh, have a look at it. So let's start and let's play. Definitely need to uh, uh, change the music settings. You're getting the death card. So we go. <laughs> <laughs> And listen to my friend And listen to my darling So you better take my hand And then sing this song together Song about the end The end is near The end is near my friends Oh yeah So, the end is near my friends So, um That was the Opening scene Um, uh, so let's Head over here Sound. Can I? Oh, you can't drag it. You need to just push it. So, I guess this will be good enough. This one at 50%. Um, I like the rest. I want the rest also on 50%. And boys, I don't know this one. Uh, okay. Disable voiceovers. Hello, this is Constructor. Are you receiving me? Yes, okay. That was weird. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's start. Uh, let's start with the tutorial. Um, because I don't know how this works anymore. <laughs> uh, it's way too long. Uh, I've played it. And hopefully, of course, so you it think doesn't you can have make any it in the world of constructor music. Your predecessor was not up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the city council and the mob, let alone those annoying tenants? 
Um, okay. I'll get it in the neck if I don't explain some of the basics to you. Your ever important cursor is controlled using the mouse. You can push scroll the map by moving to the sides of the screen. Well, there's no flies on you, are there? You can move the camera view around using the cursor keys. Why don't you have a look around now? You can zoom right out by pressing delete or rolling the mouse scroll wheel towards you. Well done. You're not as daft as you look. You can zoom back in by pressing insert or rolling the mouse scroll wheel away from you. This is your HQ, center of all things important. You'd best protect it like it was one of your own. If this Very burns simple. down, it'll be curtains for you. But don't worry, we'll dig you a nice grave in the yard. Okay. <laughs> Rather than standing around picking your nose, let's get going by selecting this geezer. Point your cursor at his feet and press the left mouse button. This is your foreman. You'll need him to build your property empire. He will instruct his own work team to do all the hard graph for you whilst he files the risk assessments. Okay. You can move him around by pointing where you want him to move to and pressing the right mouse button. Right ho! And right. here they come. Your workers have finally got out of bed to do some hard graft. Send your foreman to the beacon we've just placed outside the HQ entrance by pointing and pressing right the right mouse button. His okay, work team will on. always tag along. That was a long walk, wasn't it? Every foreman can have a work group of up to five workers. If you have a full group, they'll be far more efficient. So you'd better add two more workers to this guy's team. Select okay. the flashing work team button and make the group up to five workers. Flashing. Oh, no, it's flashing. Okay. Select spare workers on the right to fill the team up to five. And then choose the flashing group selection icon to bring right them on. together. Great job. You're getting the idea with these flashing icons. Now let's exit this screen. Not that. Right, enough of all this poncing about. Time to do some building. Oh. Let's start by placing your first building site. So let's head on over to the estate agent. Estate agent? Yeah, where it... Oh, there it is. The lumber yard will be your first resource, which is handy for a plank like you. Get it up and running to supply wood for your future buildings. Try finding a legal position to place the site by legal. moving the cursor footprint around. You can tell which land you own because it's glowing your team colour. Position the cursor over where you want to build. If the cursor is red, then it's not a legal position. The arrows show which direction the gate will face. Uh, it doesn't matter which way the uh, directions are. Or should I place it over here? Oh, I only can place it over there. So let's do Would that you way. look at that? A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, press the left mouse button whilst hovering over the footings. To start working on this building, bring your men onto the site. This can be done by simply clicking... Tea on... break. Would you look at that? Yep. A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, press the left mouse button whilst hovering over the footings. Oh, can't select him. Oh, thank you. Who's there? right -o. Watch them build! It's a real good idea! If these They're guys building. keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become much more reliable. Congratulations! You have finished your first lumber yard. To restock it, move a work team into the building. The lumber yard will be your source of wood for years to come. Press the left mouse button whilst hovering over the building foundations or click the new icon that's appeared on the left-hand side of the screen. To restock this resource, call the work team into the building. Okay, work team. Now, let's have you stock the building up to 10 units of wood. To speed up wood production, you can call a second team into the building. Call a second team, okay.
Nearly there. Just get it up to 10 units. You've made enough of a racket, but now we've got enough wood to start building our next property. Go to the estate agent to see your new choices. There are now more choices of buildings you can create. Click on the Homes icon I to see, see what's new. Homes. Homes. Show homes. You oh. now have access to three low-grade tenant houses. We want you to build a log cabin, which will fit neatly beside your lumber yard. You can change the selected building type by using the directional buttons. Press the left mouse button to place site. Beside your lumber yard, you can change the uh, selected type using A, S, D, uh, F, O, Y, and the D, F or V buttons. Okay, very weird. I don't know, but okay. Uh, just A and S, of course. Uh, build a log cabin. A log cabin. Large. This one. We need to build this one, okay. We need to build over here. I don't know what the difference uh, are. Placing well, it over there. That one's squeezed there. in nicely. The house, but yeah. Now you need to call a work team to finish the job. If your teams are busy, click on your foreman using the left mouse button and move him to the site by pointing and clicking the right button. Whilst people are inside a building, a flag appears outside. You can click on the base of his brown flag using the left button to select him. Okay. Right out. They need to go over there. Oh, I get the small one, the small workers. Small work team. We should have this new house knocked up in no time. But where can I see how much lumber I got? Oh, over here. 24. Okay, nice. What are you doing? Well done. Your first home has been completed and is ready to be rented out for the first time. Building a variety of types of houses would expand your choices in the future. Congratulations on your first tenant house, okay. even if it is a bit naff. Yeah. To look inside and choose a tenant, hover your pointer over the base of the building and press the left mouse button. This place is obviously empty. To put a tenant in this house, click on the Appoint Tenant icon. Okay, this button. There are five levels of tenant, from the riffraff to the toffs. I'm afraid you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this stage. Yes. Take That's this dodgy sure. looking pair. Whilst they have plenty of money, they don't breed quickly enough, and they might damage your property. And might damage. I think it's best we use the other couple. These slobs will do exactly what we need. They'll breed like rabbits to create extra workers and tenants. Oh, they breed like rabbits. Okay, where do you see that? That's one thing for sure. Money, uh, not that much. Life, stress, repro. I guess it's repro of reproduction. And that's uh, nice. They've moved in and made themselves at home. Don't you love what they've done with the decor? You can find out what these tenants like and don't like by clicking on their picture. These slobs are the lowest level of tenant that you can get. They're good for breeding quickly, are quite noisy and can cause problems for their neighbours. But as long as you don't annoy them, they can be fairly self-contained and don't expect too much in the way of luxuries. Okay. These areas give you information about the house and its tenants. Hover your pointer over each of the areas to find out more info. Use the cursor keys to move easily between icons. Speed of current breeding. Which house is built. Um, the value of the house is sold its current condition. Rent being paid each month. It's not much, by the way. It worked, okay. Currently, these guys are paying rents, but we need to expand our empire and breed more workers. Click on the worker icon to have them start breeding a worker instead. 
There you go. Your bundle of joys on its way. This display shows you how long before your worker will report for duty at your okay. HQ. Oh, nice. To make your tenants a bit more active in the bedroom and deliver <laughs> your children quicker, I suggest you upgrade their bedroom. Click on the Redecorate Rooms button. There are four rooms in this gaff. Each of these rooms has a different benefit such as increasing life expectancy, relieving stress, reducing repairs, and increasing birth rate, which is what we need right now. Please select the bedroom. The bedroom. Oh, what a okay. dump. There are several stages for each room that must be better than I this. A room. Select upgrade room to start redecorating. Upgrade room. You will need to call a work team inside the building to complete the upgrade. Hello. How are going? It's working. Marvellous! Your team has completed the new bedroom. Doesn't that look better? Hopefully it'll have the desired effect. Let's go back to the main screen and see how they are getting on. You will notice that the birth rate has improved. The faster the dial goes round, the quicker the next baby will appear. Just like in real life. They do slow down as they produce more children, but the happier they are, the quicker they breed. And more rent they are willing to pay. Oh, Everyone wants a nice garden to go with their house, so let's start by improving the fence. At the moment, you only have a limited selection of fences available. This tenant particularly likes the privet hedge. Of course. Please select and Private purchase it. Hedge. Okay. How do we know which hedge they like? You need to get those lazy workers off their tea break and out into the yard to do some more work. Please call them back out. Oh, call them back out. Each fence has a different defensive ability, as well as being aesthetically pleasing for your tenant. Ability. That looks much better and will keep your tenant happy. Now let's leave the house and have a look around. Okay. You can quickly see what each house is producing. Rent, workers or more tenants as shown by the floating icon above the house. If something else is wrong, it will be shown there instead. Okay. Now so we, we need to it. teach you how to look after your estates. Let's introduce you to one of our other characters, the Repairman. Please select this fine gentleman over here. Your what Repairman's you a right spanner. If you switch on Auto Repair, he will circle around all of your buildings on his current estate, repairing them one after another for you. Tidy. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Alternatively, you can manually prioritise his work by moving him inside a particular building. Once the property is in immaculate condition, he will move on to his next job. OK. Hello, hello. What's oh. going on here? This dude looks like he's up to no good. It's a thief. What? You stealing... my planks? Someone has stolen some resources from your site on Katie Swallow's estate. It might not be too late to catch him and get them back. Okay. All right, all right, all calm right. down. All right. All right, all right. Too late! He's disappeared down your tube station and he seems to have stolen all your wood. Yeah. You'll need to restock that place. Get one of your teams back inside Yo. your lumber yard. Right -o. Hello? Okay. More wood. We need more wood. Those thieves. <coughs> Looks like they something is kicking off in here. No. Let's have a look inside the house. Oh. <laughs> Some people are never happy. <laughs> They've sent a complaint letter to the council. Click on their heads to see what's wrong. Oi! Your factory's been going day and night. We can't stand the noise no more. Close it down for a bit or give us some double glazing. You have 345 days to solve this problem. Sort it out or else. 
or else what? Feel and you get 20 black marks. Oh. Some people... They are obviously not happy living next to a loud factory. Better keep them sweet by getting your work team out of there. Okay. Hey? Get out of there. Right -o. That was easy to deal with. They're not always as simple as that. However okay. much you have, it's never enough. I think you need to buy some extra land for your next building project. Please select the world map icon. World map. We're going to the world map. There it is. Oh, there it is. Use the left mouse button to select individual estates. The larger the estate, the more expensive it will be. Oof. Please select the Brompton estate. But I now, can afford buy it. the estate by clicking on the buy estate icon. Did that. Now we've got some more land. You can finally build your next home. Go back into your estate agent and see what's available. Now it's time to create another of the tenant homes. Once you have created at least one of each, it will unlock more variety. Please select a simple lodge this time. Okay. Right, you can now place this lodge anywhere on your new estate. You will see that you can orientate the house by moving it closer to one side than another. Or you can cycle through the directions by pressing the right mouse button. Once happy with the position, press the left mouse button to place it. Okay, so you can create a very large place. Um, I don't know why they want a uh, Big one, but now yeah. get those work teams on Good site enough, to finish the building off. Uh, are you right on? He's coming, but we don't have any. We're not creating any timber now. So this is not a good solution. Now, you need to put a tenant in this new lodge. Please use the slob tenants again, like before. The slob ones. Hello. Greaser. Not good for reproduction. Damage a lot and a lot of stress. But have a lot of Oi. Okay. Each tenant has a certain life expectancy. You have a limited number of tenants, so you must breed more, so they will be ready for when you need them later in the game. Please instruct your new tenants to breed a level one tenant. Well done! Now, to speed up the breeding process, you should improve their bedroom, like last time. <laughs> That's improving. <it. laughs> it's so awkward. <laughs> now, Fence. Okay. How do I know uh, which fence they like, by the way? Well, because they want a picket fence. Spectrum, uh, coral, feather, white picket. No, oh, with white picket fence. This one. But. I don't get it why. Okay, if you are ready to move on, then we need to build the final low-grade property. A larger garden will please your tenant more and make it easier to decorate the garden with objects. You can push out the edges of the plot by holding shift and pressing the cursor keys. Once happy with the location of your Soweto hut, place it by pressing the left mouse button. Mm, it's good enough, I guess. This one is the right one, yes. Now, get one of your work teams on site to finish right this on. building off. They're building it. Oh, by the way, if you like this uh, stream slash video, um, click the subscribe button on YouTube or Twitch. Uh, 
to the high quality of your shacks, the council surveyor is going to let you build some proper houses after you've built the cement yard. And let us know, of course, uh, uh, with a like button on YouTube or Facebook. Or, um, yeah, uh, give them a reaction or tips or something that in the comment section of YouTube or Facebook. This house now needs a tenant who will start paying us rent. We have a business to run and we need to make money. Please select the greaser tenants. Ooh, greasers. Hello. Okay, the greasers. Are not that it is possible to force tenants to pay more rent. Doing this will make them less happy, which may cause you problems, so be careful. Now, let's push their rent up by at least 25%. 25%? <laughs> They're a little bit funny. To <laughs> make sure you keep track of what's going on in the world when inside a building, you can toggle the radar on or off by pressing the R key. Have a go before you exit the house. By pressing the R key, okay? Okay, but I don't see the radar thing, but okay. To look after these new houses, please select your other repairman. Move him to the Brompton estate on? and set him auto repairing. Move him to the Bromp. Tom at state. Brompton. That's the Brompton state. Oh, that's the Brompton. Okay. Hello. A little bit weird, but he's over there. I think then... it's time to buy another larger estate to give you room to expand your empire. Please buy the Beaverbrook estate on the world map screen. The Beaverbrook. After building all the level one tenant houses, you can now build a cement factory on your new plot of land. Select the cement factory via the estate agent and build this now. Okay, I don't know how big it needs to be, but it's good enough, I guess. Let's build it. Now it's time to finish the building off. Get one of your work teams on site and start <coughs> building. What do you oh, want? That's the wrong one. Hey, Tom. Okay, going for it. Oh, he's still uh, um, preparing. Oh, now he's done. You don't have enough resources to finish the building. Yeah. You will need to send a work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. Okay, they're going to it, but yeah, they are our troublemakers. So it'll be a uh, hard thing. They're gonna complain. Okay. It's ready. The cement works has been finished and is now up and running. Now start some real buildings. We ought to get another one of them repairmen circling this estate, but we don't have any spare. Here's how to knock out new ones in your HQ. Okay, that's nice. If you click on the HQ icon in the top left using the right mouse button, it will scroll the map to its location. Alternatively, using the left mouse button will take you straight inside. This is your HQ screen, which allows you to monitor how many people and tenants you currently have or are in production. In here, you can also convert workers into other characters. Convert three spare workers into a repairman by clicking the icon. Okay. Great. Repairman from three now, wow. set this new repairman to auto repair on the Beaverbrook estate. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we're going to do it. 
trying to do it. We now need a gadget factory to start manufacturing products to keep your tenants happy. Gadget. Select the gadget factory and place it on your new estate. You can change the feel, but it's not, it's not big enough. So that's uh, too bad. Um, Now, get one of your work teams on site to finish this Whoa. building off. Right out of the Build it. What's this? Oh, you said you're building a, a, a road. Okay. But we don't have enough. Just Next get call. on with it, will you? You don't have enough resources to finish the building. You will need to send a work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. Okay. Yeah. Can we see how much cement? Yes. Using seven of ten. Okay, we need three more, and we need um, three more wood. But wood we have enough, so that's nice. Oh, it's not going to be then. Uh, Twenty-five wood. So let's get a big team in there because we have enough wood. So there is a limit how much you can produce. Your factory has been completed, allowing houses and gardens to start being improved. Gadgets for houses, such as computers, to create the next level of tenants will soon be available. Okay. The gadget factory can be accessed by either clicking on its footprint or by clicking on the gadget factory icon on the left. Welcome to your gadget factory. Here you can build many items to enhance the inside and outside of your houses. Okay. Planting trees in your tenants' gardens will give them the shade they need to dodge the sun's rays. <laughs> It'll stop them complaining too. <laughs> Select the trees icon and then click again to add it to the queue. The figure in the bottom like right trees. corner shows the number waiting to be produced. You will need to call a work team into the building to complete the production. It's a shame money doesn't grow on trees that quickly. Now that they're in stock, you can choose where to place them by clicking the deliver icon. Please okay. put two trees in a single garden. Use the left mouse button to place a marker and a delivery man will bring it to the site shortly. Just make sure it is in a legal position in the garden. Once you have placed all the objects that you wish to, press the right mouse button to exit the mode. Okay. Oh yes, I can smell their green fingers from here. Now return to the gadget factory to see what else will improve your tenants' lives. More gadgets are now available. The Okie 2000 is a state-of-the-art personal computer which will enrich <laughs> child education. Build lots of computers so we can start producing better tenants. Okay. Lots of computers. Now, let's get one of these delivered to your posh Soweto hut. Select the deliver button to have your delivery guy personally transport it. Target the Soweto hut and press the right mouse button to begin the delivery. Hello. They're going now. Okay. Plug and play. Let's go inside and check the gadget screen to see if they've turned it on correctly. Okay. Select gadgets for house. Oh, my. You can really see the 256 colours in all their glory. <laughs> gadgets can also be collected by the tenant himself to avoid waiting for a delivery. It can also be collected by the tenant. Now, with the computer installed, this property is able to produce next level tenants. Please select the level 2 tenant birth type. Okay. Oh. 
This level two tenant will be the perfect choice for our state-of-the-art bungalow. So let's go build one whilst we wait for the whippersnapper to mature. <laughs> okay. We need to get to the... Oh, we need to click this buttons, okay. Yes, that's the one. So let's click and um, try to place it somewhere. I don't know how big um, the places need to be and where to place it, of course, because they don't see it. Oh, we need to place it over here. Or it doesn't, it doesn't matter, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, let's place it a little bit this way, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna try it. Oh, I've always wanted a bungalow. Get your work team on site to build it. Um. Hey, right now. Free team, so let's get them over there. They're not produ producing uh, any. Oh, they're doing nothing. Who are they? Right right An action halted. An enemy spy has wandered on site. We need to get rid of him as soon as possible. How? Your workers can attack any enemy character. Select one of your workers and then hover over the enemy and press the right mouse button right to attack. Alternatively, you can select multiple characters right by lassoing them. Right -o. Right -o. Hello. Oh, Hello. Oh, we need to take a worker. Oh, but. Oi. <laughs> They're fighting. Good job. Now to just finish off the building work. Now, time to get an appropriate tenant for this little box. Select either of the level two tenants. Punks or students? The choice is yours. Punks or students? <laughs> so, crap or crap? <laughs> hey. Oh, they don't have enough money. Not a lot of uh, life expectancy, uh, but good for repro. Um, a little bit stressed. Listen, you. Oh, they don't have a lot of reproduction, uh, but more money. Um, a lot of more life expen expectancy. So, uh, hey. listen, both you. Both not uh, too much damage, so that's good. Um, hey. Rent. They don't doesn't have a lot of rent. Um, listen, you. Tennessees. Hey. Listen, you. And paying a lot of more rent. So let's These go guys for the will happily pay their rent every month. But there are quicker ways of making money. Let's step outside for a chat. Things in Constructor aren't always above board. A good way of making money is to steal someone else's hard earned assets and then <laughs> sell them quickly before someone comes knocking. To take over a property, first select one of your foremen. Now, take your form Ooh, well, and his team to the beacon outside the gate of the enemy house by hovering over the beacon and pressing the right, right mouse button. Home. They're going to it. Target your foreman at this house by hovering over the footprint and pressing the right mouse button. Once he has demolished the entire fence, the house will be yours. Yeah. Right. Oh dear. Mario, the enemy's cousin, happens to be in town and he doesn't look happy. I think he might be saying hello to his little friend shortly. 
Oh, not good. I walked you into that one, I'm afraid. It seems it's not always that easy. Hopefully they can put him back together. Luckily these foremen are a bit like cats, although without nine lives. Okay, my <laughs> foreman is almost dying. We're obviously going to need some underhand tactics of our own. Time to introduce you to the undesirables. <laughs> undesirables. <laughs> we now have access to the hippie commune, home of the halfwit. Let's get one of those knocked up quick smart. Half shop Hippie commune, home of the half white. Let's get one of those knocked up quick smart. So we need to place it, I guess. Um, These undesirable abodes take quite a lot of resources. So make sure you have enough and get your work team on site. right -o. The team is coming because they are still at the red square. As you can see, our foreman was already back, but um, the work team not. So they need to get back first. Let's try to understand what we're gonna do now. Let's do the house with sentiment and language, so we have that. Now, let's take a look inside the hippie commune by clicking on the base of the building. You seem to have got the lazy bugger out of bed. You can choose what to use him for by clicking on the pictures. Let's have us a street party. Street street party. Um, this is the street party, I guess. Is it? Get a blaster. Make it free shorts. Um, doesn't say a lot. But... You can guide this dimwit by pointing where you want him to walk to and pressing the right mouse button. Wait, we're pointing where you want him to walk to? Yeah. Um, doesn't say where. Yeah, Let's start a party outside the enemy house to distract his people. When the cursor goes green, you can select the hippie's target position. Yeah, He's a bit slow, I'm afraid, but he'll get there in the end. Because undesirables are not allowed on the tube network. Okay, so we need to walk all the way there. Uh, because he. You can track his progress by selecting the hippie and clicking on the follow icon. The camera will follow him all the way. So, this way. We're gonna walk all the way to there. Um, too bad I can't speed up this game, but <laughs> that's our things, um, uh, newly, newly things, because this game is a very old game, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's just uh, redone to uh, HD. So. Watch him go! That should keep people distracted. So let's try Ooh, taking that I house did. over again using your foreman. Please select a foreman and target the house using the right mouse button. <laughs> How do you think of this uh, idea? <laughs> Very nice. Oh, the foreman's coming now. You can speed up the process by using multiple foremen. And you can use your workers to ward off anyone who tries to stop you. Where are my workers? Oh, they're coming now. Okay, nice. Can I select them? 
this way? Yes, I can select them. They're coming. Well done. You successfully took over that house. Nice. You should sell it now to make a quick buck. Go inside the house and click on the sell house icon. We'll give you a price of $7,847. Okay. That right, so I think I've spent enough of my precious time trying to teach you the ropes. You, my son, need to step up to the mark and take over day-to-day -day running. Now get a wriggle on and get some of the available houses built. I'll be in touch. Don't call me, I'll call you. <laughs> Kids these days. <laughs> okay. Um, so, this one is the tutorial, I guess. What do you want? alone for five minutes and utter mate. Yeah. The HQ is surrounded. There are tooled up gangsters all over the place. Everything's get destroyed. <laughs> oh, bad luck. Your HQ was blown to smithereens. Sweet dreams, sucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like this game. A loser. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> A loser. <laughs> <laughs> the fun is this. Okay, nice. A little bit too bad as a bug uh, because uh, one of the buttons is still on screen. A little bit too bad, but yeah, it is what it is, of course. So, uh, we played the tutorial. Um, let's play the game and start it. Um, we can play against uh, AI um, or even co-op. Let's do a um, scenario, I guess. Without time limits. Yeah, let's do it. I'm human, he's computer, okay. Any depth. This mode allows you to con concentrate on war against the enemy. Objects to build every type of house possible, donating the ultimate man dream of the pyramid dedicated to your memory. Tend to own at least one residential property in every single state in the world, okay. More risk-like, I guess. This is the most difficult of the tasks. You have to three of each type of tenants, and everyone's happiness must be greater than 90%. Okay. So let's start just with the build, build, build option. Um, you can start everything, and let's do the green fields and pressing the. Accept button. And let's start the game.
Build, build, build! So, we're gonna start now. Um, and try to do uh, what we've learned so far. Um, building the timber factory over here. And let's have a look if we can To buy, buy more land, first select a new estate on the map and then click on the buy land icon. Can I buy it already? Yes, I can buy it. Okay. So we don't put uh, the houses um, in the way. Oh. Righto! Righto! Oh. Two guys aren't um, in a team yet. Um, it's a long time we did this. Congratulations! You have finished your first lumber yard. To restock it, move a work team into the building. Righto. Okay. Righto. Want you? Hey. Expand with this one. Right out. Okay, nice. And we're gonna place a house over here. Just uh, the simple cabin. It will be nothing special, I guess. Right out. Let's build it. We're producing already timber, so that's nice. Uh, we need some timber to uh, produce some uh, uh, real estate. And we need this one to what do you want? Uh, like. What do you want? Walk and talk. Let's get over there. Are you gonna keep this well up? Well done! Your first home has been completed and is ready to be rented out for the first time. Okay. Building a variety of types of houses would expand your choices in the future. Um. Tenants, I guess this one money life okay yeah that's for reproduction going to our gym. workers yes that's the one we are looking for uh, for that we need to decorate the bedroom to make it a little bit better for them uh, a great room I sent the team Okay, so that's nice. Um, this part I don't understand, still don't understand. Um, cost, defensive ability 31%. So, this one is uh, best, it's wooden fence. 300. Um, does have any other information? I don't get it. Uh, let's, let, let's build this one. And send the work team to it, of course. Okay, let's get out. And placing the next building. Just showing you what I've learned, um, of course. Yeah, like so we can place uh, the bigger one up there. Okay, next ones. Let's get them in. Um, let's like them uh, to create level one tendons. Because we need more uh, people that wants to uh, live with us. We're just try to upgrade the bedroom. Okay, that's done. And then going for a fence. I don't get this one. I'm going for this one, just for this one. My current fence, and we're for that. Let's 
so looks nice, I guess. Forcing days, uh, child majors, so that's nice. Um, this amount of not being paid each month, none. So, so they're not paying any rent till now. Um, so let's create another home. This one, it's a little bit bigger, but so they can place um, some trees on it uh, later on, or we can place some. We have uh, enough money, I guess. So that's Due to the high quality of your shacks, the council surveyor is going to let you build some proper houses after you've built the cement yard. Okay, so that's nice. We unlocked that. Um, and we can place other people in here to kill. We don't have um, those yet. Oh, only one. We do, do we have? But they're um, not gonna live in this one, I guess. So, um... Hello! Snarf for reproduction, um, and damaging a lot the house, but... Yeah, let's try to get them in here. And they're paying a lot. They're not gonna pay more. Because they're uh, breaking everything. Um, oh, we did forget to uh, select uh, defense. defense. It's 31%. This one is less, but. It is what it is, of course. So, um, they need to start delivering. Oh, what are you gone? Go back there. Thank you. Hey. Um, so let's um, creating a cement uh, factory. Hopefully, it's fitting in there. No, it's not fitting. In. Okay, that's too bad. It's not fitted. Um, so let's buy a little bit more property. Don't we don't want to um, get them angry and that sort of stuff. Um, so placing the cement factory. Doesn't need right that. Special things. Who are you? Oh, it's a nobody. I just know it. It's a nobody. Hello. Hey. Okay, build it. The cement works has been finished and is now up and running. Right on. Now start some real buildings. Uh, let's create another show utilities. Okay, that's nice. We have now the possibility to do something about it. Congratulations! You have created sufficient resources so that you are now able to upgrade them. Okay. Um, let's start a bungalow. Yeah. I guess this is cool. Right on. Do. Let's do. Right on. Um, oh, they're, right they're on. producing timber, so let's finish that off first. Um, and we need another guy um, as a repairman. A repairman. That's the one. Okay. 
Ah, dai. Why are the walking to? Okay. So, you can keep in touch with them. Do we need to upgrade this? Um... Oh, we can um, upgrade this research, I guess, um, into some bags or something. I don't know where we need for, but yeah, good. So, um, hey. first, we want some reproduction of level 2s. So let's start with that. So, let's do that. And, uh, oh, dry stone wall. No, let's do that one. Oh, we're calling uh, the other team now. That's not what I wanted. Right on, right on. Let's produce some cement first. Yes, thank you. And redecorate. This one. Okay, nice. So that's uh, how it works, I guess. Um, let's create this. Right now. State for now. So we have one place over there and one over there. What's the aim of the game? It's um, trying uh, to earn money, of course. It's some sort of city builder. Some sort, I used to say. Uh, because it's not um, a standard uh, default uh, city building we are knowing. It's a game, an old game of uh, 90. 92, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a very old game, and they re just released it uh, beginning of this year. They released it in uh, HD, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, real estate, so you need to build some houses to uh, expand it and um, upgrade them, um, and getting new workers, of course. Uh, that's one thing for sure. So that's a little bit um, the aim of the game. Um, I d do not f understand fully this game, but yeah. Listen, you. Uh, so these guys are good for um, the money, so you can earn a lot of it. Looks good. Okay, nice, nice. So don't forget uh, pressing the like button then on uh, YouTube. <laughs> so we need don't uh, we uh, know you like the game uh, and people like the game. So we can play it uh, uh, more. And another thing is, if you have subscribed at YouTube, please do that. Please do that. So we're gonna <coughs> place some students in there. Um, not good for reproduction, but they're good for uh, paying rent. I started to complain. You can see the complaints uh, flashing heads. Okay. I'm not going to put up with this crappy fence or these crappy neighbors. One of them's got to go or I'm going to wreck the joint. Fail and you get 50 black marks. Succeed and you get 10 white marks. Okay. They want the fence. So that's that's one thing for sure. Um, <coughs> I don't know what for sort of fence, but... I'm going to buy that one. No more complaining. A satisfied customer. Wonders oh. will never cease. Nice, we done it. So another one that is complaining. That work shy hippie next door thinks he's better than me because I live in a shed. 
I want a new kitchen for the wife. Do it now, or my mates in the council are gonna do him over. Okay, he's complaining he wants a new kitchen. New kitchen? We're gonna upgrade. Just to uh, satisfy him. Waiting for work team. Work team is coming over. And there's the new kitchen. So, no complaints anymore. That's nice. Uh, I love the no complaining uh, area. Um, what we're gonna do is build um, a kitchen factory. Can we build it over here? Or is it just too small? No, it's just too small. That's bad. It's too bad. So we still have uh, room for something and nothing to place on there. Um, Right Let's get them over there. And we can um, mess up with our enemies, of course. Um, Your factory has been completed, allowing houses and gardens to start being improved. Okay. Gadgets for houses, such as computers, to create the next level of tenants will soon be available. Okay. Um, so, this is our enemy. We're doing uh, great, I guess. Or good enough. We created a lot of um, houses. And uh, we need to uh, just build. Um, the mission is, of course, this mode allows you to build forever without time limits. So it's just building, building, building. It's more a sandbox mode of <coughs> Oh, the planes. Look here. Me garden's like a bleeding desert. No shade for kicking back and listening to the king. Sort us out a couple of trees, will you? So they want trees. <laughs> Oh, but they're just want trees, not um, uh, so we need Welcome to Welcome to your gadget trees. factory. Click this item again to add it to the queue. The figure oh. in the bottom right corner shows the number waiting to be produced. We're creating. You now have trees, trees now? in stock. You can choose where and to place an object in the grounds of a building, it. position the cursor in a legal position over the plot, and press the left mouse button to place a marker. I don't know how much... It will be delivered in due course. Now then, the kids are getting burnt in the sun. All red and swollen up they are. Two, Two trees, trees for them to sit under would be lovely. Okay? It's this house, okay? That's, how, that's the house. So we need two trees. More gadgets are now available to build. Building a computer and installing it in a house will allow you to produce Please. level two tenants. Okay, that's all the trees they wanted. Now then, the kids are getting burnt in the sun. All red and swollen up they are. Two Play trees under. for them to sit under would be lovely. Okay. Now then, the kids are getting burnt in the sun. All red and swollen up they are. Two trees for them to sit under would be lovely. Okay. Don't, don't know how much trees he wants. Look here. Me garden's like a bleeding desert. No shade for kicking back and listening to the king. Sort us out a couple of trees, will you? Okay. Now how much? The kids are getting burnt in the sun. Okay. He wants All two red trees and, and he wants, up they uh, are. I guess, oh, also two trees. More gadgets are now available to build. So... Building a computer and installing it in a house will allow you to produce level two tenants. So that's one tree. And can I place it over here? Yes. Placing it over there. Out of stock, yes, I did notice it. So let's create two more, or five more. And deliver one tree over here. So 
Now they're not complaining anymore. I hope, of course. <coughs> oh. Now then, the kids are getting yeah, burnt no. in the sun. All I red know. and swollen up they are. Two trees for them to sit under. So. More gadgets are now available to build. Building a computer and installing it in a house will allow you to produce level two tenants. This gadget can be taken direct to a house by clicking the deliver icon to use the delivery guy. Tell interfere and allow them to create better offspring. So, position the it. cursor over the building where you wish to deliver this object and then press the right mouse button. Oh, right mouse button. Hello. So, now they're creating better offsprings. Uh, that's, I guess, the point of it. And um, you can create double glazing, block out noise. So if someone is uh, complaining about glazing, you can create that. Team members will use the nearest tube site to place their convenient place for faster transit. So we can create our own metro station. Um, a bit like Marmite. Some people like them, some people don't. Why do we need to create that then? I don't get. But okay. So let's create a couple more um, residences. What's this? Police station. Ten thousand. Uh, we can't create it over there. We can create it over here, by the way. So that's nice. Yeah, let's create it. Okay. Oh, complaints. The air around here is so polluted. We need trees to hug and help us breathe. <gasps> At least two trees should help save the planet. Come on. Which house is... Okay, that's the house. So, um, we need to work team over here. Right, now. Uh, for more trees. But we have more trees, so that's nice. So, let's... Place a couple of them. Hopefully they will. Uh, it's good enough to have two. Okay, for some kind of reason, my um, YouTube is not showing. Uh, everyone needs good to get this. Happy tenants. What sort of a landlord are you? You won't get into the Masons if you carry on like this. Okay, how does this work? Please headquarters. Available man, new coverage, uh, 100 coverage will. Uh, state, okay. Third police commission per month, okay. So, assign a policeman to current estate. Okay, I don't get it, but it will be good, I guess, hopefully. Um, so, let's build more houses, of course. We built this one already, and that one. So, let's build this one. Council box. Oh, it's too big. Oh, that's not nice. So, let's build another this form. It's not gonna happen. Okay, let's build this one then. So it's uh, right full over here. This whole block is uh, done. Then. Uh, we don't have enough, uh, enough timber anymore. So I don't want you. Go away. And my... Yes. Right Let's create some timber. Because um, you're a lazy standing there. You don't have enough resources yeah, to I finish know. the building. Going. You will need to send a work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. 
Eh, we're gonna do it. We're busy with it. Okay, so let's get some people to end it. Some tenants. We got a lot of tenants, by the way, so uh, let's stop that, I guess. Uh, because we're creating way too much. Uh, and we don't need them. That's one thing for sure. And let people just pay some hey. more money. Listen, you. Yeah, let's do that. Garden, of course, like always. So, that's done. Um, they can stop uh, producing. Uh, the hygiene standards in your houses on the estate are below par, and a cockroach infestation has been reported. You must improve the bathrooms in all your houses on that estate and get rid of the cockroaches soon. Oh, not good. This one. Oh. So we need to improve the bathroom. Bathroom. This one. As a result of the last inspection by the council, they have decided your estates are too desolate and haphazard. You must improve your land usage to greater than 90%. Greater than 90%. <coughs> to think how much dosh I've handed over in rent, and you haven't spent a pretty penny on doing up my gaff. Are you having a laugh? Get the decorators in. Yeah, we're going to do uh, the decoration of the bathrooms. Because we need to do that. Just one thing for sure. And um, they're now in there. Cockroaches. Um. To think how much okay. dosh I've handed over in rent, and you haven't spent a pretty penny on doing up my gaff. Are you having a laugh? Get the decorators in. I know. We're done some decoration, right? Not good enough. To think About how what? much dosh I've handed over in rent, and you haven't spent a pretty penny on doing up my gaff. Are you having a laugh? Get the decorators in. I don't get in. the gaff thing. My gaff. I don't know what they talking about, but. And we need um, maybe creating if it's gonna work. I don't know. Create a tenant, spare uh, uh, worker, and create a form of four spare. Oh, but we don't have a lot of spare workers. So we need to let's create more workers instead of tenants. Right now. Oi, day break. Oi, day break. Yes. Day break. Okay, so yes. that's nice. Oi. Oi. 
Hello. Oi. Oi. Hello. Oi. 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 Freeze. You're busted. Oi. Oi. I improved this, um... It's like a thug! Did you know that we may have accidentally employed some sort of nutcase? Well, never mind, so long as he only picks on the other lot. Okay. <laughs> Weird. So, um... Uh, talking a little bit of the bathroom. I still don't get it. Do we need to improve this more? Are the cockroach gone then, or they're still walking? Don't get it. Right home. Oi, day break. Hey. Oi. So, um, what was the complaint? To think how much dosh I've handed over in rent. And you haven't spent a pretty penny on doing up my gaff. Yeah, and Are you having a laugh? Get the decorators in. Yeah. Not good enough. Still not talking what they want to upgrade. It's the whole house. Still don't get it. So let's um, get more workers. So that wasn't good enough. Um, Did we the did we do the bathroom over here? Standard bathroom. Yet. Around here is so polluted. We need trees to hug and help us breathe. <gasps> At least two they trees should help save the planet. Your tax bill is now due. You should go to your bank manager to cough up soon before the interest starts to stack up. Okay. We all outstanding taxes now. Okay, so get that. Right out. Do this one, this place. Oh, we've already got them. Oh, so let's place them. Okay. Right out. To get over there. Yeah. Um, standard bathroom. Bathroom. Let's get the team in there. How do I get uh, that cockroach into the station? <coughs> well, we've got a problem. You're taking bleeding liberties here. My room's a pigsty. Your boys said they were gonna fix the place up good and proper. Stitch me up good and proper more like. Sort out the rest of the work, will ya? 
You want some uh, preparation, I guess. <coughs> oh, These one. early mornings aren't built for me. Can we get access to a subway site like Pronto Man? You want access to. Okay. A little bit weird. So, um. Oh, they want this one. Column team. And how do we get uh, of the cockroach? Uh, I don't know. Still don't know how it does it. To work. make use of this tube site, click deliver now. To allow faster transit between places, this tube site can be placed anywhere on a pavement by clicking the left mouse button. X2 is uh, to do uh, <coughs> we good enough, I guess. Fed up of your capitalist take on home decor. Spend some of your fat cat money on redecorating our house, man. Like what? Redecorating their house. So they have a superior bathroom. Maybe they want uh, another. Warning! With your current usage of police resources, you will run out of cadets in two months. Oh. Yeah, get back. Still not good enough? Still not good enough. Still not better? Not better? Not yet. Still not. Right on. They're still complaining. You're taking bleeding liberties here. My room's a pigsty. Your boys said they were gonna fix the place. Fed up of your capitalist take on home decor. You're taking bleeding liberties here. My room's a pigsty. Your boys said they were gonna fix the place up good and proper. Stitched me up good and proper, more like. Sort out the rest of the work, will we are. Class two, superior bathroom, class two bedroom. Okay, that's the one we can so that's the complaining. Finally done. Stop complaining. So um, this is uh, where a constructor um, a little bit all about. Um, it's a little bit too bad that we've got a cockroach infestation. I don't know how we get rid of it. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully you like this, guys. Uh, let me know in. Uh, a comments a reaction in the comment section on YouTube or Facebook um, also if you don't want to let us know by a comment you also can click the like buttons on YouTube uh, and on Facebook I'd hurry up um, if I were you you're about to fail your mission yeah. okay um, but yeah so this is a little bit what it's all about um, hopefully you like this guys um, tonight we're gonna stream again another uh, game uh, maybe stable orbit uh, because I like that game um, so we also have uh, you you have also some choices on Twitch we have a set on a poll um, you can give a reaction on that um, yeah so let us know what you like uh, you can do this also on Facebook in the comment section or in YouTube in the comment section or you can do this on our steam group so um, yeah hopefully you enjoy it and um, uh, and hopefully I see you tonight so thanks for watching and bye